Hello fellow Squishmallow lovers! In this video I'm going to show you some Squishmallow hunting footage from Walgreens and Walmart. I went to a different town in hopes that I would finally find some of the things that I keep missing out on and I actually did get really lucky and find some things that I've been searching for for a while. Since Walgreens has finally marked down their old Squishmallows that have been sitting on the shelf for months, they have finally made space for some new things. They had a lot of very large new Squishmallows, so some real cuties, but things I would like to see in a smaller size. Uh, the Cactus Cat is so cute, but I really don't want to get it in a giant size. Uh, this little pizza guy, he's pretty cute, but I would probably only want that in like a 5 inch. Uh, they do have the Carl and Floyd Flippamallows. That is probably the only version of Carl and Floyd that I'm not trying to grab. Uh, they did have the new 30th Anniversary Simba, which I thought was really cool. And my husband's first response was, where's Nala? And so I had to explain to him that they only have Simba at Walgreens. You have to find the display at Walmart to get the whole collection. Since they finally made space, they did actually have a lot of Halloween Squishmallows out at this store. Most of them I have found in random Walgreens when I kept going in and they had only put out a few at a time. But it was nice to finally see a full section of them. I'm still tempted to go back and get Leap in that size. I did get her in a small version, but I kind of want her in a larger version just because I love that bright neon green coloring that she has. Uh, once again, of course, they had the flip -em which I don't feel like are anybody's favorite. I don't think I've ever heard anybody say, wow, I love flip -em I do really love this cat with the celestial kind of starry print. Um, I think she's really cute, but I would prefer her in a smaller size. I know she's also supposed to be at Kroger, but I don't know what size she's supposed to be in there. And then they had some of the Halloween bum bums, which of course I have been looking for forever. So I was excited to finally find a tray of those. They also had some of the treat baskets, which it kind of baffles me how little space there is inside of these. Like, I guess I get wanting them to be thick and puffy like a Squishmallow, but if someone's trick-or-treating, they want to put some candy in a bucket. So I don't know the point of a bucket that can't really hold anything. It does seem kind of silly. I did pull all of these Nightmare Before Christmas ones off the shelf to try to find the vampire teddy. He was not there. I was really sad about that. I'm still on the hunt for a vampire teddy Squishmallow. I need him in my Nightmare Before Christmas collection. I do have him in Build-A-Bear form, but now I need him in the Squishmallow form. Uh, I did go into a Walmart while I was in this town, and they actually had a full tray of the clips. It has been many Walmarts that I've gone into to try to find the full new Halloween collection. Every time I go in, there's stuff missing and there's only a few things left behind. So I was really surprised that this store actually had some full trays of both the clips and the 5 inch. They finally had the Wade the Werewolf with the bow tie, which I have been hoping to find for a while. And then they had this Reba the pumpkin with the little hat. He's pretty cool. I feel like Reba is a kind of random pumpkin name, but I kind of like it. I don't know. I guess it's unique. They do make a lot of unique names for Squishmallows. Uh, I kind of wonder what their thought process is. Maybe whoever designs it gets to pick the name. I don't know. Some of them always end up being a little over the top with their names. I was tempted to get the little vampire ghost now that I found one that wasn't dirty, but I ended up buying way too many other things this day, so I did end up leaving that one behind. And then I was surprised to see some more Halloween trick-or-treat pails at Walmart. 
Uh, I don't them, feel like they but usually they get have them. been getting the Easter baskets. So I guess it makes sense that they're getting the trick or treat pails now too. They did have three different designs. Um, this Fifi Fox as a mermaid. I'm kind of wondering. I should probably just look it up on the Squad app. But I was wondering if this exists as a Squishmallow and not just as a bucket because I kind of like the fox as a mermaid. I think that's cute. I have a lot of different mermaid stuff because my bathroom is done in Little Mermaid. So I like buying mermaid themed Squishmallows to throw in there. So I'm kind of wondering if I can find that fox without it being, you know, an $18 bucket. More like a $5 Squishmallow or $10 that would be something I would look for. And then we went over to the toy section and they had all of the new Lion King Squishmallows, but they had kind of stuffed them into a display with the Snackles, which I do love Snackles. I collect them as well, but I kind of feel like they should have not mixed up these displays. That's kind of crazy. Uh, I wanted to see the big Lion King bin, but at least I did get to see all of the Squishmallows in person, and I thought my husband was just looking for the Nala, but he ended up deciding he needed one of each. We do have a ton of Disney stuff in my house, so we collect a lot of Disney Squishmallows as well, so he ended up saying we needed the whole collection because... It's the Lion King anniversary, why not? And also, two of my ten dogs are named after Lion King characters, so we've got a lot of connections to the Lion King. It just feels right to own a lot of the Lion King merchandise that they put out. Um, I did finally see Meryl and Dragonite in person at this Walmart. I have been waiting quite a while to see these. I don't know if they just sell out really fast or if they just aren't getting put out in my area, but I finally got to see them. I will say Meryl looked much cuter in person than I expected. I didn't expect to want the Meryl Squishmallow, but in person, I liked it more than I thought. And they had already put out Christmas stuff at this store. I love Christmas. It's my favorite holiday. So I was super excited to stumble upon these. They are Squishmallow Christmas window clings, and I was absolutely in love with them. Okay guys, let's take a look at my Squishmallow haul for the day. I did have to grab the Dragonite. I couldn't see myself trying to fit the extra large Dragonite Squishmallow in, but once I found the smaller one at Walmart, I knew it was time to pick him up to add him to the collection. Of course, I grabbed Wade with the little bow tie. I think it's so cute. I love his little orange plaid bow tie. I know it's not a lot of an addition to him in his design, and some people hate when they put out the same Squishmallows with a tiny bit of effort, but I like it. I like his little bow tie. I think it's super cute. It's Halloween colors. It's just enough to make me need another weight in my collection. Next up, of course, I did have to grab the Dr. Finkelstein. Uh, I have all of the original Nightmare Before Christmas Squishmallows in the, I believe, 12 inch size and in the 5 inch size. So I'm excited. They finally added some new characters and not just a redesign of a character they had already made into a Squishmallow. I'm still hoping I can go to some more Walgreens stores so I can find the Vampire Teddy so I can really have the complete collection. I still really want to find that one. And of course, like I said, we did get the entire Lion King 30th Anniversary Squishmallow collection. I love these so much. These shiny glitter bellies. They're smooth glitter, so you can still snuggle them. Not hard, scratchy glitter. And I love how they kind of just put the little Simba emblem on everybody's little squishy belly to kind of give them the special anniversary edition touch. I like that. We had to get them all. And of course, I got some of these Squishmallow window clings. I think these are amazing. I love that they included Benny, my favorite Squishmallow, and Avery, my husband's favorite Squishmallow. I did grab two sheets. 
That way I can put one set on the windows and then try to use another set to make some Christmas ornaments. I'm going to see if I can preserve these and turn them into ornaments for a squish mallow tree uh, at $2 a sheet. It's not too much to risk to buy an extra. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Let me know what was your favorite thing I picked up today or what do you think I should have grabbed that I left behind. And until next time, bye.